Welcome to Maria Luisa Park. This statue is Maria Luisa. The park of Maria Luisa is a large green space to the south of the city center, close to the river, with hundreds of exotic trees lining shading avenues and historic fairy tale. Buildings with exotic touches provided by colorful tile benches and Moorish mount fountains and pools. You can do also walking and jogging here in Maria Luisa Park and also can do picnic by your families and friends. The park is a delightful place for a quiet stroll, a kid runabout or romantic horse and carriage. It's a great way to see the shady avenues of the park. You can see also a lot of types of trees, ferns, fruits, and etc. Here again, uh, someone come, a very kind woman come and feed these animals here in the park. You see, uh, she just put a, a food and a food for the fish, food for the ducks, and food for the parrots, the dove. What is the history of Maria Luisa Park? Antonio de Orleans and wife Infanta Maria Luisa Fernanda de Bourbon bought San Telmo Palace with a train around where was the race of old convent church. The couples hired a gardener, gardener named Andre Lucalant for the design of the garden with the help of a lot of architectures. In 1893, Maria Luisa was widow, so she gave a great part of the San Telmo Garden to Seville Town. So after, after that, the civil government convert or make as a public park, and in 19. Zero 09 the local city government make a fantastic design for Ibero American Exposition in the year 1929. The monument of Gustavo Adolfo Becker. This monument consists of an octagonal base surrounding a tree which is built on a pedestal, the bust of the poet. To his right side is a cupid as a child throwing arrows at the three young women. To the left side of the bust is a cupid as an adult, stabbed and dying. The two angels are in bronze. The rest of the work is in marble white. So this is Gustavo Adolfo Becker, the writer, the poet.
Kain mo na kami guys. We eat first because we are so hungry and we don't want to go home to eat at home. So we eat here. We are going to our working photography. So we eat and eating hot dog rolls. Hot dog rolls. Um, We just finished eating and now we will continue our travel, our adventure here in Maria Luisa Park because this park is so big. You can find a lot of ducks and dove here. This is the fountain of the lions. Next. 
you are hungry, weak, or thirsty, you can buy in a toys. Drinks. Hola, peros. The Fountain of the Lions or Fuente de los Leones. The Fountain of the Lion is based on a concept of by the park designer Jean Claude Nicolas Forest here. Each lion carrying a shield placed on four of the eight sides of the octagonal fountain in which they spit water. The fountain was decorated with tiles. So amazing and spectacular. The Duke of Montpensier acquired the Palace of San Telmo in 1849. In addition to reforming the palace, he built some gardens for it. These were designed by French gardener André Lecolan. Mount Gurugu is part of the building of these primitive gardens. For the Ibero-American Exposition of 1929, a train of small dimension was designed that followed a route in which it is passed through a tunnel under this mountain. This place owes its name to the mountain, mountain near the city of Melilla. Vegetation consists of hedges, butter bush, copies of pine trees, hackberry smooth trunk, and ruscus or sudden garnishing terraces. <laughs> 